and did ask a lot because it come from three of the greatest teachers and one that's ever been, and that's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, which is all divine and glorious. And it's in us now to take forth instead of depending on him to do it outside of us, we need to depend on him through us to do the work. Amen? Now, his tool to help us, if we're on the wrong track, the word teaches us and helps us. Verse 15, 2 Timothy 4, 3, 2 Timothy 3, 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ or in Christ Jesus. Now, these scriptures are able, Brenda, they are able, if we'll let them and get them in us, they are able to make us wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Everybody say, all scripture. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Amen? And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now, don't that cover a lot of ground? That the man of God, through what? That the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto every good work. How is he thoroughly furnished? Now I want you just to keep some things in the back of your mind and I'm not even going to mention them. I just want you to get you a list of things and put them in the back of your mind or on a shelf somewhere that God don't use to get you thoroughly furnished. Now let's think for a second. Let's get something maybe that you're not for sure about and let's put it in the, on your back burner that he don't use or might not use to cause you to be thoroughly furnished. But now let's think about what he does use. He uses all scripture. All scripture. Now this has been preached, took out of context, wallered around, thrown in the mud, and drug up and down in alleys and church houses and pews and everywhere. But it's not meant to be that way. All this scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it is given to be profitable for doctrine. That word doctrine, all that word means, it's profitable to teach or to instruct a way of living, which in this case is Jesus, the life of Jesus Christ, the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Same, you can link it with the word teach anywhere you want to. And it's good for reproof, which just means to correct you. For correction, which is the same thing. I mean, I've studied all this out in the Greek. And it's for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And that word where it says for instruction is from a Greek word that means P-A-H-E-E dash D-I dash A-H. And it's pronounced like paidia or paidia. And it's like paid, like you get paid. Only it's got the A-O on the end of it. So that's, that's instruction. And that, that covers the same ground, Kenneth, like a teacher. Or what, where we get what we're taught, the doctrine we're taught, or the instructions that we're given through teaching. That's the instruction that we get. It's through this word here. And it means in the Greek <clears throat> to train up a child. That's the very first thing it says. It comes from like how you would train up any child. Ain't that good? To educate, to instruct, to teach, to learn. Now, it's not. And we're going to we're talking about chastisement, by the way. That's what I'm going to be talking about. This is not a God that's a causing sickness. In disease, crippling arthritis, car wrecks, and bad things to instruct you in the way of his word. He's a using only all the scripture. 
because all the scripture is profitable for this doctrine and this instruction and this reproving and this this uh, training and this all this that we need. It all comes through this scripture. Nothing else. Nothing else. Are you trying to tell me that God don't put bad times in our lives so that he can get our attention? No, God don't put bad times in your life. He don't do that. God is a good God. God's a good God. Listen, uh, Kenneth mentions this a whole lot. It don't make no difference how good that Granny Hobblegobble was. Granny Hobblegobble may have went to heaven with cancer and crippling arthritis and lumbago and a lot of other diseases and sicknesses, but that don't mean that Granny Hobblegobble was the correct example of the Word of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. The devil is a bad devil. Well, what about you, Herb? If something happened in my life or has in the past or in the future any time that's not according to the will and the, what God's Word says, 